Let's look at some uh, port scanning quickly. Well, there's TCP and UDP, and we've discussed that before as well. Now, what I'm going to do is using a very small little program here called Angry IP Scanner. Now, what I like about this, it does TCP scanning. It's very small and gives you some interface and feedback. Now, as you can see here, we can actually install our own user IP address of our machine. We can see that. I'm going to scan IP address 10, which is a router locally here. We're going to scan ports. And the ports we're going to scan is, for example, we can scan port 20, 21, which is FTP, 22. We can also scan 23, which is Telnet, 80, which is web browser, 443 SSL, 1433 um, Microsoft SQL. And we can see if the system has got WinVNC or VNC installed with the Java interface. And there's many more that you can do. So after we've added those, we can actually do a quick scan. It will do a ping, which is an ICMP echo request on the system. It said to me that, yes, we've got a machine that comes back. That's green. And also then port 23 Telnet and port 80 is open. Now, if we want to actually look at port 80, that's a web interface. Um, let's actually use the command prompt. And we can actually then test if the port is open. Telnet 192.168.99.10 comes back to a access verification. So we know the system is coming back to us. Now, the next thing is to actually try a couple of different passwords and things like that. Now, as you can see, it's very simple. Um, we can also do it with a different range, for example. So if we have a class C, so we use the complete class C in the network. We start and we erase everything else. Now, as you can see, it comes back. And yeah, this machine, for example purposes, I have installed WinVNC on the machine. And as you can see, it comes back with port 80, which is a web browser, 443, which is secure socket layer. We also have 1433, some Microsoft SQL is running there, and 58 and 5900 is showing us that when VNC is running. Now, the advantage of a small application like this is we can nail the network, hit it hard, and determine what is out there. The problem, though, is that if there's intrusion detection installed in the environment, it will definitely pick you up. Now, this is a Windows-based, very small application, always in my toolbox to look at the network very quickly if I need to. Um, there's other better scanners. Uh, one of the best scanners available is Nmap from Insecure.org, um, which you can actually use to scan uh, complete TCP and UDP and identify machines in the back end as well.